Hey guys, Fumble Week here today, and welcome back to Cities Skylines Park Life. This time we actually have Park Life, so get excited. Look at this, it's actually out. I pretty much had to wait till the release of the game <laughs> because, uh, as we found out at the end of part one, I didn't actually own it. I have also gone through and named the districts uh, based on some good suggestions. It was basically suggested to name each district after a uh, national park here in Australia, so that's what I did. We have Heathcote, Macquarie, and Barrington at the moment, so we've got those three, and the whole place is called Atherton, which was a suggestion from the comments as well, which was based after a, a town, I believe, somewhere, where was it, let me just find the com oh, no, I'm in the game, uh, Atherton, uh, yeah, it's a town far north Queensland, here in Australia, uh, and then someone also replied to that saying, it's a very wealthy uh, area in the Bay Area of California, I said area like 10 times, I apologize, but anyway, so that's kind of cool, I really like that name, it was super nice, uh, and I think it fits the area quite well, I also, so now that we have the actual game installed, it is now out, you guys can also get it, uh, I went through and try to figure out which mods were working and which weren't. So I have most of the mods on, but we don't, the ones we don't have is Traffic President, so we can't do any funny road things. Uh, we don't have uh, 81 tiles, so I can't unlock the whole map yet. But I think those are really the only two that are huge uh, differences. For the most part, I have most of the mods working, which is really, really good. So we're going to have a bit of fun with it. I guess first things first, let, let me just... I, was, I just wanted to pause to give this guy some water. I guess I'll continue to pipe there too. Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to do is actually just make parks, because we can do that, so we should probably get on with that. So I wanted to originally have a, what do we have, park, paint park area, or we have a raised park, okay, well, obviously this one. So I wanted to have a park along the, the waterfront here anyway, so this is going to be a park of some descript all the way along the front. I don't know how exactly it will go, it'll be something like this, and we'll just continue it on as we go. Uh, then I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to say, along the road, just erase it there, just so it's nice, neatly bordered with that. So then we have Laurel Garden, which I feel like, again, I'll just name it after an actual national park. Let me scroll down a little bit here. Uh, we could call it, oh, there you go, Seven Mile Beach. Isn't that, that is like legit perfect. Uh, where is that one again? That's somewhere, I kind I definitely heard the name before. I can't remember where exactly it is in Australia. It's somewhere though, That, but that's perfect though, Seven Mile Beach. So good. Right, so now that we've got the name of the park, uh, this is the new thing that comes with parks. It's a whole little dialogue. I mean, it's a whole thing that we can do with it. We can set uh, specific policies for the park as well. We can make this the main park in our city. Uh, we can do a whole bunch of stuff in here. We'll do some tours and all that. But I guess let's, uh, let me, before we start detailing any of these parks, because obviously we're going to be doing that. That's probably going to be, the, the thing is, I... We do need to also build more stuff, but I also really just want to build parks. So, because <laughs> it's a new thing. Um, I think I might... I Was I going to leave this area empty? I know I was going to leave this area empty. I think I might leave it empty up until that point. So I think I might just zone this in, because I kind of want to get some more... Commercial. Yes, I'll go there. Even though it's kind of around those houses. Then I'll get some along this road up the top as well, because I think this seems to be a pretty good main road for uh, commercial. Anyway, let me just resume on that. Let's start getting that filled in. Uh, oh, also, I did play around a little bit with the uh, the LUT, so the lighting and the look of this place, uh, but it's not, it's by no means, like, sort of filled in and fine-tuned. I think, how do I open it up again? Uh, oh, also, let me turn off prop anarchy, because that's going to get annoying. Um, I think, uh, shift, alt, L, yeah, here we go. Here's this one. So I got the Sedona one, which is slightly cooler, surprisingly, but it's sort of combined with the other stuff. That's this one that we're currently using, the Park Life preset that I made. Then I'm also combining that along with, uh, oh my god, uh, along with Ultimate Eye Candy with some settings in here, and I think using the Relight Neutral, I mean, again, there's a whole bunch of different ones that completely change the look, but that's the one I'm currently using. Uh, might tweak it. If you have any suggestions of cool ones that we could use, uh, or good ones that might look better or whatever, let me know. But this is just currently what I'm using. Uh, I might go ahead and actually move that pipe immediately down here because now that we own a little bit more, actually, can I buy more land? No, I can't. I need those two. Let's move that. Uh, actually, you know what? Before I do that, last time we did something, we kind of ran out of money. We can also use the smaller pole again now if we want to, uh, which is probably also cheaper. Is it $5 a cell versus 20? Yeah. You know what? Let's just build the cheaper one. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm just going to go from here. I'm going to take it all the way down a seven mile beach. I wonder how long this actually is. Be interesting to know the, the actual distance because I mean, it's more, it's more a bay, but I mean, there is a beach there. So there you go. Anyway, I'm going to move this. Oh, I've got to build the pipes as well, don't I? 
But anyway, let me get this down over here. Go there. And then let's go water pipe, which we should hopefully not have any issues with this. That'll go up there. All right. Water availability is actually getting a little bit low. I don't know if you saw that. So I might build another water tower while I'm at it. And should we just do it next to the other one? Sure. Why not? I mean, it's like one slightly bigger water tower because they're right next to each other. There you go. Good. All right, so those two are going to go there. That's going to slowly clear out, hopefully, because we do actually have a bit of water flow coming past from up there, which is good. Don't know why that's still there. Can I get that to this? Yeah, there we go. Uh, cool. All right, so that's now down over here. A little bit better than it was before. Uh, I like how it's flooding itself in poo. It is definitely powered, uh, even though it's not touching, but that's good. No touching, except it is. All right, so back over this way, uh, I want to uh, make sure. So the the demands are pretty low right now. Let's let's do a park. Let's um, get some more park stuff in. So we're gonna paint a new one. That's gonna go in this gap here. I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can include roads and buildings in this. There's no reason I can't. I just wanted it to be, like, specifically in this area. Uh, I guess the other question is, oh god, yeah, okay, it can't be that specific. So it's gonna, it's gonna overlap a little bit here, but that's fine. So that's this park, Pine City Park. Then I wanted one here as well, just another small one. These are not. You can actually charge for entry to park. So when we do a, uh, uh, I guess the houses are kind of slightly part of it. Oh. Okay, uh, so when we do eventually get around to doing uh, amusement parks and zoos and that, which you definitely can do, which is pretty cool, we will... Yeah, it's it's going to have an annoying join. I just want them to be neat. Uh, we will uh, get around to, you know, charging for parks. These are all going to be free, though, because I really feel like they're not going to have much in them. I mean, maybe we could charge for one of them. Maybe we charge for this one, because this is a bigger... Oh, I mean, really, this one would be good. But I can't... I don't know. I feel, I, I feel like... Uh, you know what? Stop talking. Let's just do stuff. Shut up. All right. So this one is going to be called... I'm just looking at my list of names. This is exciting. Actually naming stuff. Um, how about... Oh, also, most of the names are usually with something else. So for example, Hat Head National Park is a whole name. Uh, or like something like Crowdy Bay National Park. But we could just call it Crowdy. I don't know if I like that. Uh, or we could do... What else do we got in here? Yeah. So most of these are usually like Heathcote something National Park. But I've just sort of made them smaller to make more sense ah, here we go how about sydney harbour national park yeah that makes sense uh let's see oh mimosa i like mimosa mm, mimosas are delicious let's just go mimosa park i'll put park in it because i feel like it should have park on it dean hill no uh this can be walandra park there you go beautiful and then yeah seven mile beach okay so we've got our parks let's uh i want to let's do this one so we're gonna go uh, into a little tab in here. Now, I believe... Where do I get... Uh, is it in here? No, I don't remember. So if I click... I feel like I should be able to click on these. But they don't seem to click. I mean, this might be glitched out because of mods or something. I can click it there, apparently. Oh, there's like... Oh! Uh, what mod is this from? Invalid IL code. Okay. Maybe it's just because I'm in a category that doesn't... Oh, yeah, it was just because it was a weird category. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so where do I find... Actually, you know what? Uh, park, well, park maintenance? Oh, hello. Yeah, cool. Getting some of those issues. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be... It might be a little... I don't know where... Maybe it's in here. There's definitely... Oh, here. Fences, yeah. So these are really cool because you can build fences now, actually within the game, properly supported, um, which is great news. Cool! Thanks! Uh, what, what is this? Auto bulldoze mod. I need to turn that off. Okay, so I've done that. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add entrances to our park. So we could either do a park main gate, which is actually quite large, or we can do like the, the small park main gate, which is still a main gate, but much smaller. I mean, I think we could get actually quite a large one right here because it seems like it fits really perfectly with that road. So I might do one just there. Hey, the park is leveled up. Seven mile beach. Wait, what? Uh... Uh, no, it hasn't. It's definitely Mimosa Park, <laughs> right? What? Uh, this could be mods messing with stuff. Absolutely. If there's any weird glitches like that, it's probably mods. I mean, that's got one star on. I can see it. Uh, I'm just trying to see where it says levels in here. It doesn't really say. Oh, there. Right. Okay. So level one. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, let's ignore that. It's fine. It worked. So there you go. I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. Oh, thank God, move it still works. That's beautiful. Right, that's going to go there. Uh, then we're going to do more gates because obviously that's not going to be enough. So then we can get out the 
Side gate. Yeah, here we go. So we can get a few more gates in around the place, which I definitely want to do. So I want one there. I want one on this side. Then I want one... Well, definitely on the other side of the park as well. So right opposite that one would be good. And then probably over here, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to smash through here. Not in park area. Okay, that's going to have to be part of the park. That's kind of annoying. Uh, well, we can definitely get one. So we got one there, one up there. This one can go... Well, really, we should have a few. I might just do a couple in the corners there so it's a little bit easier to get around. I want it to be like a nice place that citizens can just walk through. Now, I think if we go onto the park, this is where we set the, the price, which I don't really want to have a price of this right now. At least not right now. Like, maybe in like five seconds we will, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so now we've got park paths. We've got a few new paths in here, basically. There's a lot of new stuff. I think the nature reserve paths are going to be really good. There's like all of these. Look at all these things. There's loads of them. Uh, we had like these three before. Now we've got way more. So we've got a park path. We have amusement park path, which I mean, there's no difference between them other than obviously the looks. Uh, we've got the nature reserve path. We have the zoo path, which actually I kind of... What does that look like? I kind of like that pathway. Let me... Well, let, you know what? Let's have, let's have a look at these. Um, there's no upgrade button for these, which is si slightly annoying. All right. You know what? I'll just build it here. That's obviously going to be like a dirt path. Lovely. Then we have... I don't really want... I don't think I want ones with trees on them. That's also quite nice. Or the default one, which is that. Is a standard park, or you just do, you know, the original pathways, which is this, which is kind of lame. Might as well use the new one. You know what? Let's use, let's just use this one. So we're gonna go here. Not exactly aligned, which I gotta say is kind of annoying. But did you know what? Let me move this one. So it goes somewhat straight along. Beautiful. Oh, actually, does our crosswalk mod still? No, it doesn't work. Oh no. Oh no. Now I'm stuck in this too. Hang on. No, no, no. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. Okay. I get it. I get it. It doesn't work. No! Oh, yes. Got out of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we can't we can't make crosswalks, which is kind of annoying. But the way we can sort of force the game to do it vanilla style... The reason I want to do a crosswalk there is because that means people on this side of the road wouldn't be able to get there. That actually... If, if they come out of this building and want to go into that entrance, they'd have to go like this. Then come around. Actually, I think they can cross at the corners. But the other way we can do it is if we just change the road type to say, uh, I don't actually really have any other road types of the standard in-game roads. We do have these ones. Kind of annoying, actually. Um, damn. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll change it just to this thing then. No, I don't, this one. You do that. Oh, they didn't make it, oh, cause this doesn't actually have crossings on it, does it? It's like, Ah, oh, this is not going to work. All right, never mind. Let, you know what? Let's just leave it. It's fine. We'll, we'll fix it eventually. Okay, anyway, back to the park. <laughs> okay, let's hope we don't find more mods that are not working. All right, so these two I'm just going to join together pretty much like... Please tell me Anarchy works. Oh, thank God. So pretty much like that. Easy enough. This will just come straight down. Actually, I'll go to about... Let me turn off the road guides for a second. Go to there. Because I'm trying to... I want to build this in a way... That, you know, people would actually... Oh, God. Hang on. Turn off snapping on that and grid. The way that people would actually walk through a park. Like, they'd want to walk pretty efficiently through a park, you know? Uh, road guide back on for this one. Like, you wouldn't... For example, if you were, like, walk... If it was a 90-degree bend here, you'd probably want to cut the corner a little bit. Even still, people might even go like that and cut that corner. But you know what? I, I'm, you know, I'm giving them something to work with. Uh, now, I might even do over this side. We'll make this one a little bit more... Free form. I just want to make sure we're not snapping to anything. Yeah, I just want to... There's something a little bit more... A little bit nicer, you know, a little bit uh, curvaceous. Now, can they... If I just go straight like that, do they have to go through a park entrance to get into a park? I can't imagine that they actually have to go through a park entrance. Maybe they do. I would hope not. But what I'll do is I'm going to go here like that. And then that's going to join up to... Let me turn off Anarchy for a second. That's going to go there. Then I'm going to go to the park area and actually just expand this park a little bit. Because I do want to have an entrance to this park on that road. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. I don't want to... I don't think it's going to negatively impact us if these buildings are in the park. But whatever. That's just the way it is. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is go for a park side gate. Just opposite that one. I guess about there somewhere. Uh, you know what? I'll do it there, just so I don't have to destroy that building. I was going to move it a little bit, but not going to happen now. Then this is going to go... Hang on. To there. Then to there. 
Kind of annoying that it, uh, every little angle it sort of does these things everywhere. I mean, it, uh, whatever. All right, so that's like that. So now we have a, a beautiful park. Look at that. Mimosa Park. Isn't that nice? Uh, the other parks are kind of useless, but uh, we're getting there. Now, park stuff, if we go in here, there's a whole bunch of stuff, really. If we just go to... Uh, well, if we go park life... Actually, you know what? So this is city park. Yeah, I don't need to do park life. That's unnecessary. Uh, can I turn that off? Oh, how do I... There we go. Um, so this is actually all the stuff that will go in our park anyway. We haven't unlocked everything yet. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. But then this is... And then there's like amusement park stuff. They're in different tabs. So it's kind of kind of good to know. So back here, we can get out... Uh, let's see. What, are the, what buildings do we actually have? We can do a cafe somewhere in the park. Now these can go sort of anywhere in the park. Or you can snap them to pathways or to roads. Which is really nice. I think I might do... I might do a little cafe right here in the middle. So we already have some people walking through the park, as you can see. Which is pretty nice. It is free to walk in here, because there's not really anything in here yet, so I feel like it's not really nice to charge them. We can do a public restroom as well. I might just do this in the middle. Uh, and then we could do park info booth. Pretty big. I mean, you don't really need an info booth on a park like this. That seems unnecessary. Then we can just do benches. We can do signs. We can do... What is this? Park tile? Oh, wow. You can just put tiles down. Wow, they've added a lot of stuff in this. Now, I don't want to spend a million years doing all this stuff, but I think we will do some other stuff like... Oh, actually, you know what? Where is the, um... I think you can place uh, the standard stuff on here, too. If you do... Yeah, you can. Oh, no, you can't. It won't let me put a plaza there. No, there, there is some plazas, though. Oh, maybe we haven't unlocked it, actually. I think we need to, um... Must be in here. Plazas, climbing frame... Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a bunch of cool... Oh, no, here we go. Plaza. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So this plaza will go anywhere. I might do this maybe on the corner? Oh, I haven't connected that gate. I should do that. Or should we do it more over this way? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to put it there. I'm going to move that because I regret that decision. I'm going to put it there. Okay. Let's just do that for now. And then let's connect up this gate that is just going nowhere right now. Wait, do I have a snapping turn on? Now I do. There you go. So that will go there. So we have all these buildings connected up. A bunch of people are walking through the park. So it's serving that purpose, which is nice. I'm going to do that. Now let's get out a fence. So we can do a park fence. We can do... Amusement park fence, we've got nature reserve one, which is a little wooden thing, zoo fence. I think just a park fence would be good. So if we go here, I'm going to go like that. Uh, can I turn off angle and road length snapping? There we go. Ah, that's cool. So now we can sort of actually fence off our park like so. Ha ha. So this will go. I destroyed my pathway. This will go behind the buildings, I think. Oh, this is good, actually. It cuts off the zoning, too. So nothing will, like, definitely build there. Kind of annoying that it's going to mess up that pathway there, but... We'll go back and add the pathways back in. Now, this is actually just going to go straight across. Um, this is kind of annoying, because it's going to destroy that no matter what I do here. Yeah. I'll just do that, and then... That's also going to destroy that. Cool. It just destroys everything in its way. Handy. But we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. So this is going to go here. Then I would like this to curve around this corner because that would look great, I think. I'll go straight along. Uh, that'll come up to here-ish. And then you can see it sort of starts curving away at that point. So we'll sort of fence all these in and it'll be lovely. There you go. Look at this. This is cool. I like this. We can spend 50,000 episodes doing this. Uh, I guess we'll go around. You know what? I'm just going to follow that little concrete line, because why not? Distance too short. Well, that's slightly annoying. Well, what I can do is do this, and hopefully you just use Move It. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Thanks, Move It. And then this will come along. That's also going to destroy that path. Super annoying. Okay, so now everything's actually uh, joined up with a fence. Uh, let me turn snapping back on here. Or not. Hang on. Oh, no, I turned off all the other stuff. Hang on. You know what? Turn all this stuff back on. There you go. So everything is back on. Oh, wait. Maybe maybe not everything. Oh, no, I don't. How do I get it to not... Destroy the fence. Piss. Get. Piss. Okay, so this one works. The other one doesn't, though. This pathway is too fat. It's too fat with a pH. Uh, okay, in that case, we're going to have slight issues almost everywhere in the park. Because <laughs> it's not going to work with almost all the ones. Uh, you know what? We probably don't need one there. 
Now we can put. Oh, well, I thought maybe with anarchy it would. Work. Oh no, it's going to ruin this whole area. Uh, well, maybe I should just use this pathway at this point. Because if I do that, I mean that doesn't look too bad actually. That works, and we don't destroy uh, any of the fence, and it, that's fine. You know what? Let's do the same here. It'll probably be fine. There you go. And we still have the fence. That's all right. If we get some trees around the place, it'll start looking really good. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll do the same thing here because I do, I do want. Um, I guess the only thing about this one is because this pathway actually comes with benches and bins and lights all over it, which is really nice. But the other one doesn't. So we, I guess we got to keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, whatever. Whatever, you snooze, you lose. Booze to the who's. Okay, there you go. So the fence is all the way around the park now. Beautiful. Oh, except for these places that I didn't actually finish the fence. That's right. That's right. Didn't go here yet. So we're going to do a curve. Uh, turn off snapping. Turn on road guideline. Oh, hang on. I think we'd get rid of grid. Uh, did that not? Mm, hang on. Grid. No, I don't want grid. I want road length. No. I want... What do I want? I want... Uh... Oh, this is just not gonna... No, I'll just do it manually. It should be fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. That, that actually wasn't too bad. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me turn the snapping back on, otherwise it's just gonna be bad. All right, road guideline to about there. And to there. There you go, nice. Alright, so those curves around, curve around those little bits there. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of people going in the park. We have... Uh, does this tell me how many people are here? Total visitors until next level. Visitors a week 54. Not bad. Well, you know what? Let's charge... $2. Let's just see if we can cover the expenses. Because I think that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, as long as the park doesn't cost me money, then let's go with that. Alright, let's get some trees. Uh, now, I should have all my custom trees back in here again, which is good. But I don't know if I want to use a lot of them. I do really like these trees though, so let's start getting some of these around. Now the good thing about trees is that actually uh, now, I think I mentioned this last episode too, they actually do now provide noise uh, suppression, which is good. So it's quite loud through here, but if we put a bunch of trees in, we'll actually notice that hopefully the trees should block some of the sound. Although having said that, there's not really any residents here, they're all living on that side, so <laughs> it's not going to do much. But it would be super nice to go to this park and then be like, oh sweet, we're like, we're in the park now and uh, oh god, that's a lot of trees. You know what, I kind of want to do a tree line around the park though. So we have the fence and then this tree line uh, to sort of, you know, block out sound. And also, you know what, if you didn't pay, you don't, you don't get to experience the, you know, the sanctity of the park. You gotta pay the troll toll to get into the park. This is a lot of trees. I don't even know if this is going to look good. It might not. Um, I really should turn down the intensity of this, but it's also good because it means we'll have a lot of trees, which hopefully will actually suppress some sound. Keep it nice and quiet in here. I do really like this tree, so let's get some more of these in, fill up the gaps a little bit. And then I would like to do some, you know, maybe smart uh, place trees in the middle. That's not just a line around the outside, though. It does look pretty good. Uh, what else? Uh, can we use maybe this guy? Oak tree? No. This guy. I think these are pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Some slightly larger trees as well all over the place. There you go. Uh, yeah, this is looking good. Then we'll have a look at the, the noise from the park as well. It'd be interesting to see if there's actually much difference at all by putting all these trees everywhere. And I don't know, I wonder if this changes the rating of the park as well. All right, so now I would like to do, let's see if we can get some, oh yeah, this, get some big trees like in the middle of the park. Yeah, good, good. That's nice. This is a, I think this will be a super nice park. Like, like, I don't want it to be crazy, but it's just like, it's just nice grass, like trees everywhere. That's pretty good, I like it. Now, let's have a look. Uh, Pretty good, 338, we are making 117. Not exactly enough, I might charge maybe three bucks. People want to pay three dollars to get in here, though. Like the thing is, I assume there's a point at which people want to stop visiting your park because it's too expensive. I don't know what that point is, but we'll find it. Now let's have a look. Did that uh, make much difference to the sound? Oh yeah, it's quite it's quieter in the middle. Maybe I don't know. Not that much, but slight difference. I think it looks nice though. All right, let's um. Gar we're having garbage issues, really. I guess because oh, oh. Ah yeah, see this is why the automatic bulldoze mod kept <laughs> telling me to bulldoze stuff. 
All right, there you go. Now, these guys are not even under full load, so I'm not really sure why they're struggling to uh, keep up with garbage, but I guess because I have to drive such a long distance to get there. Like, you even have to go all the way in and then around, so it's not exactly convenient. We do have a lot of demand for more residential, so I might actually just zone some more over here because this is where I was going to build anyway. Uh, I think, yeah, I'll keep a lot of this part of the road here residential. So it's sort of transition to residential at that point. Then let's also go... Maybe... Maybe go a little further back here as well. Let's build out a bit more. Because so I would like this to connect up to this road. Maybe not here. Maybe we should have a large intersection here somewhere. So another another main road at some point. Uh, about here, I would say. But this will be... Oh, where's all my snapping? Turn all this back on. I need all of this again. Come back! This will be a main road. Like a big, big intersection. So this will get quite intense, you know, like this will be, this will be, <laughs> that kind of intense, you know, that's, that's what we're talking. So this is going to come along here a little bit, and then should maybe come down a little bit further, come along like this, head out this way somewhere, and then, then we can sort of just fill in this area, and I think this whole area, oh, hello, power issues, uh, pause the game there, yep, definite power issues. Uh, so we are no longer making enough power for everyone. I did actually, did I, um, oh, you guys actually mentioned, yeah, 12% is the way to go with, uh, taxes. So we'll do that. We'll push it up to 12. Uh, let's go 150% on the power. Because for now, that should give us a little bit of extra wiggle room. Not a lot, actually, not a lot. So probably want to build another one pretty soon. Uh, we don't have money for it, though. We could just buy some wind turbines. It's kind of annoying because we did remove them, didn't we? Uh, this costs 19,000. Oh, we're not actually far off. We're gonna fall one in a second. Let me just build some more roads first, even though we're really on the brink of not having enough power. Let's, um, I guess the question is, do I want to connect this all the way through? This will become an incredibly busy road if that's the case. Well, actually, it might not be that busy. It might be fine, but let's go through here. Let's, uh, so we'll, okay, here's the thing. We've got three parks right here, essentially. Well, we'll do, obviously. So I don't know if I want to plan any specific parks right in this area. But, we can always be open to more... Oh. Damn, I didn't build for some reason. We can always be open to more parks if we want. So this is going to go here. Oh! What? Mimosa Park has reached level 2! It's got the right name this time too. The following buildings have been unlocked. Park Pier 1, Park Pier 2. Not really useful because they are... That's an inland park. Park Chessboard! Nice! Okay. We could use a piers out on Seven Mile Beach, which would be pretty cool. Now, do I want to connect that to here? I think I do, but what we'll make sure to do is we'll make it hopefully not a particularly busy road. The thing is, if we're going to have a lot of four-way intersections on this road, it could be a really, really bad idea. Um, so that, the thing is, I don't know, as long as I don't make this a road that people are going to be using to get to other areas in that you know, like, obviously, if you're trying to get to another area, you'd want them to stick to the main roads, and then hopefully only people that live here would use it. The way we could also do that is just by doing a district policy, but I don't think we've got it unlocked yet, to be perfectly honest. I don't know. I don't know if we've unlocked that policy yet, but... Anyway, so all of this here is going to be Macquarie, uh, all through here, which is good, I think. I'm just going to cut it off on this road. Like so. And then up here. Oh, here as well. Oh, hello. Hawthorne District. I don't think so. Go away, buddy. Overlap there a little bit. Uh, surprisingly, there's some already, already some cars using that road there. Which is not a bad thing, I guess, because that means we don't have everyone using the one road. They're using this one now, too, which is kind of good. So let's just, uh, let's roll with it, you know? Let's, uh, let's go with it. Now, Macquarie, can we go policies? What do we have? Because ideally, no, we don't even have city planning yet. So ideally, I'd probably want to do Old Town policy and then have Macquarie within these roads so only people in the area can drive through it. Which would be good. Or if you're going to the area, I think is the other way. We really need more garbage trucks. They're getting there. They, I think they're just getting there really slowly, is the thing. Uh, now, I would love to have a road through here somewhere, because it would make a lot of sense. But I want to be careful that we don't end up... Well, first of all, I'm going to destroy two houses with that one. Same with that. Uh, I really need to go between a house. No, I need to go, like... Sorry. I guess that's, that one's not the worst. I do destroy two houses, but then we still have enough zoning on either side. All right, let's get that. I just want to make sure that we're not creating, like, really uh, popular cut-through routes. I mean, we might be doing that, but whatever. 
All right, so there's not a huge amount of demand for residential right now, but I'm going to zone in pretty much all of this. Uh, this could be a perfect park. Look at this. There's so many park opportunities. I, just, I mean, to be honest, maybe we turn... Maybe we just do get rid of Willandra Park and turn that into part of Mimosa Park. So then all of this area here is just Mimosa Park. And then you have Seven Mile Beach down there. You know what? Let's do that. I think that makes more sense. Um, I do like the idea of the smaller park there. It still will be a smaller park. It just won't be... Um... Oh, whoops. I thought I clicked on that. No, Maple Garden, go away. They're going to be part of this park now. Whoops. This park now. So this one, Mimosa is growing. Oh, yeah. And then this will go up here. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's all this area. All of this area. And I'll make sure to connect it to the roads a little bit so that we can uh, have entrances everywhere. Because if it's a really connected park as well, uh, that'd be super useful. Then people could use it to walk around everywhere, which is kind of cool. Uh, cutting in there, though. Thank you. Oh, hello. Uh, now, we're getting some money symbols on that. What did that mean? Did that mean that was too expensive for the park? Or that... Oh, actually, no, maybe because it dezoned them just then and it was like, we're not in a park because they had to be in a park. Hey, Boomtown! Boom, boom! Let's get another power station. Uh, let's just chuck it there for now. That'll do. Then let's go back to our budget. Make sure that we turn off the budget boost because that's not going to help anyone out anymore. Turn that back down. Right, so then we got all the zoning there. We do need a lot more industrial, which... Uh, this is why auto bulldoze mod is good because you can you don't have to worry about bulldozing stuff uh, Which apparently now I do. I'm so not used to bulldozing stuff anymore, right? So here Can we First of all first question can we turn this? Oh good lord. No Why is the why is the sand texture that that's way too much? <laughs> that's way too bright uh, What about the one in? Uh, where do I find the service painter? What do we have in here? Good l What are these textures? Hang on. Oh, right. No, I am on that. It's just because it's small. Oh, can I pick it, please? Oh, too big. What is that? No. Oh, here we go. The grass, apparently. Ruined texture, sorry. Is uh, this... Yeah, we'll use this. There you go. It's technically a surface painter texture, not a... Uh, other thing, but... Now, do we want all of this to be like a beach like this, or is this just, is that too much? I mean, it could work out really well, especially if we do a bunch of trees all over it. I think it might, it might be really cool. Might look really bad, I don't know. Uh, but we need more industrial. I, I also gotta make sure we fo actually focus on growing the city, and not just building parks. The park oh, important updates pending. No, Windows 10! No! Remind me later! It just like popped up on my whole screen. This road is getting <laughs> slightly, uh, slightly busy. Uh, do, can we buy another bit of land? Oh, we can. Okay, hang on. Let me have a look. So I did say that I want to expand down this way, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet because I want more industrial, which I'd rather keep up further away. So maybe I'll actually go up because then I can expand this way a little bit and then actually do a highway connection here uh, to connect into this area, which I don't think, do we have highways yet? Uh, oh, we do have some highway roads. Okay. We could actually do that, but I don't think we have that much money. So let's just build... Uh, first of all, stick it on the ground so it's not floating. Let's uh, build a main road through this area, which I think is going to be this one here. So let me turn this into a larger road. But this is going to head up to the highway and then connect at some point. Although, to be honest, I'll probably just... Should we just do a really crappy one for now? Whoa! Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Uh... So we'll do that. Exit. And then we need a entrance from here. Need all those guidelines everywhere. Entrance to here. And I'll neaten this up at some point, by the way. So just I just want to get this done now. With here and then... Uh, oh, hang on. This needs to be elevated now. Up and over, which should be about 9 meters. So we need to go over a ramp that's going to either come under us or something. That might go a lot higher, actually. Should be able to come down again now. About to here. There, somewhere? Sure. And then this will come down. You know what? We'll join them. It should be okay. That's not too bad. We should be able to get under that, I think. Uh, and then let's go from... I need more room. Hang on. I've kind of... I haven't... Look. 
I was just trying to do this quickly because I don't want to spend five years building an intersection right now because these do, you know, they, these are pretty uh, pretty intricate things. They, they take quite a bit of time. Uh, and seasoned professionals like myself. What is going on with that curve? Curve this way, you, you bloody... There we go. Kind of bending, it works. So we're going to go nine meters high to get over the road. Well, that's actually not too bad. That actually joined quite well. All right, and then we're going to go here, and then hopefully we should just be able to go... I don't know what the height clearance is anywhere here, by the way. I haven't really looked, so we'll have to obviously look into that, but whatever. And then this is going to come up to about there, because it sort of meets there. Uh, that height clearance is not great, I can tell you that much. So let's go a little bit... Uh, it's more more this point than it's go up. A little bit up there. That's not too bad. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, over the highway below is actually plenty of height, I think. It doesn't look like it because it's on a slope, but there's actually plenty of height there. Okay, so it's a really ugly interchange. I'm not going to lie. No, There's no getting around that fact. But we can now do this, and we can now do uh, that. There you go. Again, not great, but see if we can make them a little bit neater. This just... Actually, the eternal snapping on this will probably help. There you go. That'll go there. That'll go there. I'm going to actually leave that one alone. Whoops. Mm. That one's just not going to be great at all, I don't think. Yeah, this just needs to be rebuilt properly. Whoa, what's going on with that? There you go. That's not too bad. Not the best. Uh, you know what? Just leave that. Just, just leave it. Okay, well, anyway, it works. So that goes there. That comes through. Cool. Let's not spend any more time on that. Uh, I would like to expand that road all the way through. Sorry, guys. Going to come through here. And I guess I might just end here. Uh, we don't really need to make this road here any bigger. What is with the number of fires out here? We need a fire department way closer, man. This is ridiculous. Where is our fire department? Oh. Oh, and that's medical. Where is our fire? We have a fire department, right? No, no, we don't. Do we not? Oh, I thought I... Okay, well. You know, you know what? That, uh, that answers the question. <laughs> that, uh... Well, that, that explains everything. So let's go ahead and let's get this on... I want it out here. Obviously, we're going to have more fires out here than we are over there. But obviously, we kind of need to cover the whole area. Um, but we're going to have more out here. So I'm going to put it on... I don't want to put it on the main road because that's always going to be a little bit worse. So I'm going to put it on this road here. That'll cover this area for us. Uh, then I also want to do some commercial out here because we need some commercial. And I think it would be just be a good place for it anyway. So I'm going to go along this road here. A few spots here. Now, actually, pipage. We do have pipage there. Cool. All right. And then this is going to be good old Baza Barrington up here. Pretty much all of this area. I don't know how big. Not too much that way anymore. Mostly just here. Okay. So now that they have pretty much a direct connection for the industrial traffic, we should have less industrial traffic coming this way. Unless they go into the town. Because it should be quicker to go here, jump on the highway, and go around that way than driving all the way down that road. So that's cool. Right, so back over this way, uh, we do have more commercial demand, so I think I will get some more. I mean, this whole middle section is pretty commercial. I might just continue going up this road a little bit, because uh, eventually we will probably build around most of this. So let's expand up this way. Uh, then I do, you know what, let's go down this way more too. I want to I wanna keep going around this way, around the beach. Okay, so this is going to come down here. Right, we'll come in. We'll come in real close to the beach here because, like down here, we do have to be pretty close to it. Uh, I think this is like a really that, look at that. It's a really good spot for stuff for stuff that's going to be there in the future. All right, so I want a road. Apparently, I have a large built building filter selected there for some reason. I feel like the filters aren't uh, potentially working as the way they should because I might have mods interfering with that. Uh, then I think I want this to go. Damn, I wanted this to connect without me having to rebuild that power line. That was my that was my main concern, was the power line. I actually want to remove most of that because it's going to be in the way of all the zoning that is here. I want to just go around the back. There you go. Get rid of that one and that one. And that's it. Cool. All right, so that's going to go there. And we've got two burned down houses. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Bye. Now, actually, is this park, by the way, is this making any money? The two-star park. Oh, look at this. Income expenses. Hey, we're making a profit off the park by only charging three 
Yeah, three dollars. Or three monies, whatever the currency is in this game. I can't close it. There we go. Um, it is pretty popular. There's quite a few people walking through it, which I really like. Now, anyway, back over this way. I want to zone. God, there's a lot of uh, industrial demand. We need to zone way more up here. Let me... Let me entertain you with a song of my people. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, I feel like if I'm going to be building all on the left, it's going to make this road really bad. Because um, everyone's going to want to turn left. Maybe we should build on this side a little bit. You know what? Maybe we'll expand this way. But really, I kind of want to... I don't know. Because, I don't know, like, they're, 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 I'm, I'm always really bad with industrial areas. I think that is one of my less prolific areas. You know, when people say, hey, Flabaliki, he's good at, and then blank, insert blank, they don't say, hey, Flabaliki, he's good at industrial areas. I mean, they might do, but I don't think anyone's ever actually said that before. I don't think anyone's ever said, hey, Flabaliki, he's good at blank before either. All right, so that's going to go there. Now we have a nice connection that way too, so they don't have to go all the way down the bottom and around. But if they want to, it's going to be quicker to get to these ones than going through there. So there's that option, which is always really, really handy to have. Now this pipe is going to come through here to water all of these buildings in this section. So all down here. There you go. And I'll just, you know, I'll just zone all this, and if we need to remove it, we'll do that. And I'm going to get some more commercial on this road, I think. You know, just, I think it's nice to have a little shopping area here for the people that work in the area. Uh, could be like, could even be like factory outlets or something. Okay, we're really not handling garbage at all. At all. Now, how much does this cost? Because I feel like we're probably not getting our money's worth here. It costs 16000 to buy, two forty a week. Um, and we're really struggling to keep up for some reason. Man, it's so bad. Put it there, get another one. How many do we need? We need at least one more for this city. These things are pricey. And then these, I guess, are going to be able to handle more initially, maybe. The thing is, they have the same amount of trucks, but I guess they can't process that much is the, probably the issue. So we're using 11 out of 15 trucks, but I guess they can't process garbage any faster than uh, the limit we're at. Now, oh, I thought, good. I was, I was wondering if we're out of water or not. No, it's just we haven't actually given them water. So that's good. A lot of garbage issues. Uh, we're on it. Probably should have... This road connect to here. Um, would make sense. Well, really, I guess... Oh my god, look at the garbage. Really, I guess this road, because it is another highway connection, probably should come all the way down to the beachfront. Can I buy another bit of land? No. Should come all the way down to the beachfront eventually. Uh, I might want to change some of these large intersections to... We could even... I, re I really... I rarely use roundabouts in this game. Um, mainly because... Ones that are realistic, like realistic roundabouts are tiny. They'd be like, they'd be the size of this in the middle and it would just flow, which you can't really do in this game. You can make small ones, but then the small ones are really glitchy, especially because we don't have traffic president working at the moment. They're going to be really bad. The other reason I don't do it is because the ones that do work well are huge and huge roundabouts are not as nice. However, we could turn the middle of the roundabout into a park. So we could do that. Now, I think maybe if we bring this right down here, do a roundabout here. Bring it down to the waterfront. I don't know if I want to do another roundabout, but we could do a roundabout somewhere, maybe. Uh, God, okay, there's just people. Okay, hang on. We've got a pff, we've got a real big issue right now. There's people dying. There's there's garbage everywhere. It's not looking good for us. We gotta sort some of this out. Uh, we don't even have crematoriums yet. We do have a uh, uh, thing. Now, oh, this could go in a park. <gasps> you could build parks for your cemeteries. We don't want to do this though. I gotta figure this out. I've got, I've got ideas, but I don't know how to realize them. Maybe we go here. Okay, let's let's do a roundabout. Let's you know what? Let's let's just do it. Let's do it. How big is this one? Small. We got a huge round. Is that too? That's too big. I think. I think this is probably a good size. Let's do this. So I just want to connect this area through. So I'm gonna roughly line it up with the roads that we have. That oh, should be okay. That should be alright. All right, so we're going to remove those. Don't need that. But I will do it the other way around. So I'm actually going to go through the middle here like this. Oh, whoops. Like that. Okay, so then that just prevents it from uh, glitching out and turning into an egg when I connect my roads to it. Okay, so this is going to come down. Oh, God. I, of course, I put the power station right in front of that. Now, how much does this cost to move? 
$3,800. Oh, man. All right, well, I, got, I have to move it because I need this road here. So this then is going to come down pretty much onto that. that. Okay, and then this I want basically to come straight down. But I might even... Maybe we don't. Maybe we go around a bit. No, I guess we kind of have to. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. And then this is going to come along. This is heading a little too far inland, I think. But what we could do... Oh, yeah, we could do... We could do something cool with this. Like, we could easily have uh, another little designer section here. Of some sort. You know what? Maybe why don't we do the... um. The cemetery down there. All right, anyway, so this is my roundabout, so get rid of those. Uh, that's the idea. Now, power, we were using this to connect the two areas, so I'm just going to change it to the smaller one. So it's not so much of an eyesore. Okay, so that's going to go there. Still having garbage issues everywhere, which I'm not surprised. <laughs> this city's not great. I'm going to be honest, this city's not great. Uh, it's not my finest. I am going to get a little medical clinic. I think it might be a nice place for one. Maybe over here. Seems like a really good, like, little area. Doesn't really reach too far. Um, probably should have put it where most people live, but whatever. Uh, so now, we have 3,000 bucks. We can take out loans. That's probably making them feel a lot better about themselves. They're getting, they're getting a little healthier. Oh, there goes the power. Wait. Oh, is this not... Are you kidding me? That's not connected? That's stupid. Sorry. Sorry, my bad, just the mayor at work. Okay, so now we have this roundabout functioning. It should be okay, even without using uh, Traffic Manager. See, the thing, what the, what I would do with a real roundabout is typically when you're in the, the outermost lane, you would always be turning off. Unless otherwise specified on a, you know, your roundabout. But normally if you're in this lane, you're going to be turning off because... You're going to continue forward. You're either going to, if you're in the inner lane, you're going to continue forward and go out or forward and continue around still to the other one because that's when you go out on a multi-lane roundabout anyway. And if you're on the outermost one, then you're always turning off first thing. Is usually how it works. Uh, obviously, there are going to be exceptions to that, but that's how it should work and that's how I would change this to work anyway. Uh, although I change it probably slightly differently to that. Right, so having people die everywhere. We can't deal with that yet. Now we can. Now... Should I do this? I don't want to do it on a roundabout. That doesn't make any sense. I kind of wanted it to be in a... No, not in a roundabout. Maybe here. Maybe... It'd be nice here if we have, like... Uh, I really want this tile because there should be a... Ideally, I want a road right here. Like, the road will continue on. So let's just say the road is there. Then I want to have a nice, like, road coming off here. Just goes inland here a little bit. And then maybe just comes back up like this. And this joins under this intersection. So, basically, only, the only people using this road will be going to this area. So it's not going to be like heavily tra adding a lot of traffic to that uh, that intersection, but... Look better there? Maybe. I kind of want the same kind of curve on both sides, to be honest. Whoa! Oh, it's auto-saving. I was like, whoa, what is going on? It's auto-saving! What's the deal with auto-saving? Sorry, Jerry Seinfeld just stopped by. Um... Uh, this is not snapping how I thought it would. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, good enough. All right, that, that's kind of how I want it. Now, uh, let me also get rid of the terrain paint here because the problem with this is we have painted over all the walkway on that side <laughs> with beach in a way. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do that. I mean, I guess what we have to do is really disguise this with... Like trees and all that to, uh, you know what, let me build the uh, the actual thing that we need first. So the idea is that this is going to go here. It's going to be on a nice little grass area. A little dedicated space. It's going to be really, really beautiful uh, out here. So I think it should be quite good. Now, let's go for a, let's get a regular park. Maybe just like a plaza or something. No, maybe just like a, maybe like this or something. It's a little big. Actually, what happens if I overlap that road? Oh, okay, yeah, it looks terrible. No, no, no. Get rid of that, it's too big. <laughs> it's a little too big. Uh, we can just do a plaza. Yeah, there you go, that works. And then we'll do some trees and all that around it. Just, I just really just wanted to join the power. Join the power! The powers that be. Oh, whoops. Uh, I want to zone all this too, because we've got a lot of residential demand right now, so they're gonna like it. 
Are you guys going to live here? We have a, a huge ton of people walking, man. That's actually kind of crazy. We, uh, do we have any public transport yet? Oh, we do. We can do buses. Okay, we should probably get into that. What is, so, okay, hang on. What's this issue? Not enough customers. Yeah, they have, there's a lot of residential demand for customers. And not enough water. Oh, no. Not enough water, but not water in the area. There you go. All right, that's going to go there. Back down this way. Let me just slow down time here because I feel like we're going, we're going a little fast. Now, I don't want to clog this with palm trees. Actually, there was a, um, don't they have, oh god, this, this needs to be updated. This is, uh, a mod is not helping out with this. Now, I think small trees. No, isn't there a new medium trees and then we have large trees? No, I feel like there's, um, the foliage category that I was told about. Nature reserve, maybe. I swear there was like someone, it must be in here. I don't know where to find it though. And you can find like all these like grasses and that. Oh, maybe it's in here. Ah, here we go. Yeah. All right, so smaller. But these I think will be really cool because now we can, uh, these are just vanilla assets in the game now. And I think all players actually get these. I think this would be really good for like a little, oh, it looks kind of gross when you zoom out. You could probably use some trees above it. These could be really good for like sort of almost transitional kind of pieces and making it look a little bit more filled uh, with stuff. What are these things? Hmm. Make it come alive a little bit more. Now I was mostly using the, the thicker ones over there for uh, all of that space. What's this? Stone things. We got a lighthouse. We got... That's where all this stuff is, okay. And I believe we have some new rocks as well. Yeah, nice. Whoa, okay. Whoa, all right. A whole bunch of new stuff. All right, cool. Uh, but let's get some trees in here because that's also what's going to make it look a little bit better. We will do some palm trees here, I think. Uh, it's a little close to the water, as you can see. It doesn't really like it. Kind of annoying that trees do that, actually. I don't, I don't know why. Just because it, it's close to the water, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, a tree lives near water. That must mean it's dead. That's how trees work, right? When they have water, they die. You morons. I don't even know why that's a thing. Anyway, let's get a bunch of these around. This I want this to be like, not like completely secluded or like overgrown, but I want it to be almost like a sort of edge of the beach kind of thing where it's really transitioning back into uh, the green fertile soil and everything. We get some trees around here as well. I think it's kind of nice, and then especially you could do uh, some nice like benches or something in there. I think it was, I think that totally works actually. Like looking at that, I like it. Oh, I like it. Anyway, so now we got the cemetery there. I think that's going to be good. Uh, that will probably stay there forever, is my guess. Uh, even when it's filled, because we're not going to do anything else with it. But I'm going to leave this part here because that's kind of what we're going to do now. I don't know. Um, well, I mean, we can keep going, but the thing is, it's a long episode, so, so we'll be back next time. Uh, maybe we'll build some more parks. I'll give you suggestions of what we should do next. I think that's a good idea with the Mimosa Park to have it there. We've got Seven Mile Beach running down this way, you stupid beach. Uh, it's a stupid beach at the moment because it uh, has nothing on it. I do just want to paint this real quick just to extend it. I think it looks pretty good. I, like, I think as a base, like as a starting point, having this as a big beach is going to be pretty sweet. Uh, we could. Oh, that's what we could do. Remember that uh, scenario from Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 where it was a theme park on a beach? And actually, that, that scenario is based off a real theme park too. Uh, we can totally build a theme park on this beach. Oh, yeah, we can. Not over there. That's a residential area. Probably in this area somewhere. Oh, it's going to be cool. It's Oh, there's so, much, there's so much exciting stuff that we can do. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I will see you next time. And have... An awesome day.